Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today you are going to see a trick to clean up a tier simulation as much as possible. So I created this cool animation which you can find on my Patreon because I wanted to create an object warp effect and a gradual tearing. It's sometimes very complicated even by playing with a tearing parameter to obtain something clean. So we will see how quickly solve this problem. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so we can see here the tearing animation that I created for this project and if I go a little further in the animation, we can see that the animation is very nice. But you can also see if I turn around that there are a lot of little pieces of fabric and it's really not very realistic or aesthetic. So we will try to correct that. So I will select my simulation exported in Alembic and I'm going to add a tight select modifier. You can see here that my mesh is selected and that it is in vertex mode. I will therefore change that and choose elements. We can see in red that all our elements are selected now. And for the selection mode, I will choose element size. Now, if I go down the menu, we can see that we can select several different modes like surface area, volume and more. We will choose max because we want to be able to select the maximum size of our elements. We can see here in red the selected elements. And what you have to do is change the value to find the right number that will select all the parts you want to delete. I think a value of 10 is good in my case. And once it's good for you, just add a delete mesh modifier. And we can see that now everything is perfect. We have a very clean mesh and we can adjust the look of our mesh as we want with this principle. If you also want to soften the rendering of your tier simulation, you can add a tie relax modifier if you want. And play with the amount and the iteration to get the result you want. Okay guys, it's over for this short tutorial. I hope this trick will be very useful for you. You can, as I said, find this complete project on my Patreon and don't forget the thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. See you soon for the next tutorial guys. Bye.